Did you know that you can create assignments with Kami and have it generate the questions for you? Let me show you how. So I'm gonna click on my Kami extension and I've downloaded a PDF from Discovery Ed Social Studies. I'm gonna pull that up in Kami. And this is an article. And I want Kami to create some questions for me. So on the left panel over here, I'm gonna click, click Questions AI. And if I had questions already attached to this article, I could convert the questions to auto-graded, which means that Kami will grade them based on the student's answers, and then it would populate the Schoology gradebook. But I'm gonna click Generate AI since this article doesn't have questions yet. So I have some fields that I need to change. So I'll put grade eight, go to advanced settings, multiple choice questions, I could choose short answer, number of questions, five, four options, I like that, at grade level, below or above, what well, we wanna teach at grade level. And I have different levels, I'm gonna choose level two skill or concept and then click generate questions. So I have my questions and Cami wants to let me know that it may have found something inappropriate or sensitive in the document, but I've already vetted this document, so I know that's not true. So I'm going to go ahead and click show questions. I have five questions here that Cami generated. I can add questions if I want to. I can decide whether or not I like them. I can even look at a student preview and see what this document and questions will look like to a student. So if I'm happy, I'm gonna go ahead and download this assignment to my Google Drive. And I could choose the folder I wanted that in, but I'm gonna let it export into my Kami Uploads folder. So I've got my new assignment in my Drive in my Kami Uploads folder, and I'm gonna create an assignment in Schoology with the Kami LTI. And using the Kami LTI, I'll be able to use class view and edit template, which we talked about in the last video. I'm gonna find my assignment in my Kami uploads folder and select it and click insert or select. Assessment mode just means that I can set a fast hard date that the students have to submit this by and they won't have access to the assignment after that. Feature control is amazing. I can choose which annotation tools my students have access to. I'm going to leave them all the same, but I'm going to uncheck copy and paste so that they can't copy and paste answers from the World Wide Web into my document and click OK. And then attach. And now I can set everything I need to with the exception of factor of zero if this is a formative assessment I choose my formative category or I can choose my summative in which case I don't need to go back into bulk edit and change my factor to a zero if it is a formative assessment and save changes and voila we have our new social studies assignment that Cami created questions for us with its AI generator. I hope this was helpful. Have a great school year.